Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And welcome back to Hyrule Castle. Let's go into the second gatehouse and see what we have to fight there. Okay, what, what, what kind of Lionel is this? White maned, okay. Well, let's take him out then. If possible. Do a whole bunch of that. Do some more damage. And we're doing well. We've already taken out half of his health by doing crazy attacks. Oh, run away, run away, run away. Also, it might be good to take out that eye with the thing spawning on it. If I can. If I can? Question mark? Oh, I can. Just need to aim higher than that, which I can't. And I might be out of with a different bow. Let me check. Um, Falcon bow, can I reach all the way up there? I can, but I also need to switch my arrows so I don't waste the good ones. Nice. Now let's focus on this Lionel. And I might switch my weapon up just a little bit. Oh my goodness. Can I focus on the right thing, please? Thank you. It's very kind of you to allow me to do with the thing that I'm trying to do. Oh, that's not good. Oh my goodness. Well, at least Direct's protection is doing its thing. Well enough. Oh, please, do it now. There we go. Let's get on its back. And let's take him out, if possible. Flyer rush, and he's definitely done now. There we go. Now, did I take out all of those things? I think I did. But anyway, if I take him out... There's a chest now over there. Let's go grab that, and let's also take a look, look at these weapons real quick. Savage Lionel Sword. It's new, apparently. A brutal sword carried by white-haired Lionels, the Savage Blades, are strong enough to cut down any foe, no matter how strong. We've already... Oh, that's... He dropped two swords? Hang on, what have I got which I could throw out? I could probably throw out a boomerang thing, since I just don't really need that. Okay, that's all of that done now. I guess it doesn't really matter which shields I have, so I'm going to leave that one there. And let's see what this treasure has for us. It's three ancient arrows. I'm quite happy with that. Okay. Well, going forward, I'm going to climb up this as well to check if there's another treasure chest to grab. Not here, but maybe higher. No, there's one over there. So let's grab this. Five bomb arrows. Very nice. And there was a Korok on the other gatehouse. So let's check at the top of this. Although I doubt there's not going to be a second Korok that's just that easy to get. Uh, let's switch up my gear so I can climb up this better. Okay. There is another Korok. That's actually very convenient. Like, extremely convenient. Uh, can I check that, please? Examine. There we go. Another Korok to my collection. I should have probably gone to upgrade my slots before coming here, but that's okay. Well, there's the Blood Moon. Except it can't activate at this current time. Um, I think this is the one I want to use, probably. This golden bow. As long as this thing can turn around and see me. Hello! I'm right here. I'm, like, standing right next to you. Like, actually right next to you. How much can this charge up? About that much, apparently. 
Oh, hello. Did you not like that? I guess you didn't, but I don't know how much damage that really did to you overall. I think it can only charge up so much, and then the rest of it is just wasting um, st uh, stamina. But there we go, he's done. Savage Lion weapon, that, that did really well, considering it didn't break. Oh, is that a piece of materials? I don't know. Well, it's gone now, isn't it? Anyway, let's keep going up. There's another one up there. Just gonna take that out. Okay. I think that was just uh, debris flying off of it. Oh, hey, another one. Oh, I missed. That's a waste of a thing. But I need to get closer so I can actually get a good shot in. Well, fair trade, I suppose. Mostly. Oh, hello. Can I aim at you from here? Probably not with this bow. Let me switch bow real quick and probably dodge because you're going to shoot me. Ow. Okay, get up, Link. Also, these flying ones are very similar to the turrets in their design. Oh my goodness, I'm doing badly. But I didn't know you could break off its... This is such a waste. I didn't know you could break off of its uh, propellers. Apparently you can. Which is very interesting. Oh, there's another one. Ah, uh, so many. That's better. Much better use of that ancient arrow. But I guess if you can get the one chest that respawns around here, that'll be useful. Okay, I'm gonna get up this thing so I can get the parts that were on that other one that I killed. Not very efficiently, but I've not been doing very efficiently for the past few minutes here, so just grab all that. Oh, and I guess I could take you out quickly. That's all my ancient arrows, which I suppose is fine. Let's head up here for these parts real quick. We're very close to the end now. Just need to grab this. Let's head back onto the main path. Since you were supposed to be walking along it somewhat. Also, I should probably change my armor because I forgot to change it back after climbing the gatehouse. So there we go. I suppose this guardian can live unless it gets angry at me. Uh, in which case I'll have to change my bow. And arrows. Oh, actually, if I can... Hang on. If I can change that to that. And also, change my shield back because I don't want to waste that shield. Oh, he's going to ask for a fight, isn't he? Yep. I'll change bow quick. Ow! Don't throw me off the edge, please. Please, Link, get up. Just do a ton of that. Oh, I knocked it out of the sky. That's cool. Also, it's just on the ground now, so I'm going to take it out like that. <laughs> it's upside down. Oh, it's funny. Anyway. Savage Lionel Sword is badly damaged, but that's okay, because we've got plenty of weapons currently. And also, we're just about ready... To go to the end. So, this is the point of no return, so save. I'm pretty sure the game will automatically save anyway. But let's head in. I'm 
sorry. But my power isn't strong enough. I can't hold it. yourself again and for the sting of my revenge this will be our final opportunity we will not fail let's go little guy now open up my gate A hundred years in the making. Hold on, Princess. Our moment has arrived. Welcome to the Calamity Ganon fight, and depending on how many Divine Beasts you've done, each one will do take out an eighth of its health straight off the bat, adding up to about half of its health remaining. Going straight into the second phase, you need to be very careful of dodging his attacks, uh, but it's not that hard, to be honest. As long as you're prepared, you can probably do very well. Also, it's not worth holding anything back, so go all out taking out as much of his health as quickly as possible using your strongest weapons just go go nuts basically but as you can see he's got a lot of health remaining oh dodge and he's got a few different attacks he's gonna do so might have been a good idea to have actually taken oh oh shoot the thing nope I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh well. But yes, we, he's going to be able to shoot laser beams at us, which we can deflect. But also, now he's in this phase, we are going to be in a little bit of trouble, because we will actually have to deflect that back at him. Otherwise we can't do damage while he's in glowy form, so let's just do what we can now. Uh, Bosa Furious does still work while he's, uh, oh, leveled up. There we go. So hopefully you've learned how to deflect Guardian Beams by now because you need to know. Remember to use your shields to block his attacks. And I love this arena, it's so cool. Oh, here we go. To 
too early because he's too far away. Also, just quickly, let me take a picture of him because that also counts in the album. Oh my goodness. Deflect that back. There we go. Let's see if we can finish this off now. Nope. Okay. Looking like we're getting close now. Oh my goodness. Dodge everything. Okay. Here we go. And let's finish this. Ganon was born out of a dark past. He is a pure embodiment of the ancient evil that is reborn time and time again. He has given up on reincarnation and assumed his pure, enraged form. If set free upon our world, the destruction will be unlike anything ever seen before. Light. A hundred attack. Princess Zelda gave you this bow and arrow for the battle of Dark Beast Ganon. When wielded by the hero, it fires arrows of pure strong light strong enough to oppose the calamity. So let's equip that. It has an extra slot for it. And let's go. Dark Beast Ganon is fairly simple overall. You just need to dodge his attacks. And you should be fine. So we need to head to the glowing points on Dark Beast Ganon's side, and we need to shoot those quickly. And depending on uh, when we start the fight, we also get a horse that we have. Oh, I need to move, don't I? Ow! You need to be careful not to accidentally kill your horses in this fight, because they are the ones that you've taken before. 
I think I got all its clonks spots, didn't I? Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you also can't leave this fight. Maybe? Or maybe you can, but I don't think that'll be a good idea. Okay, there are the glowing spots. Let's see if we can shoot them. Oh, I missed the first one. Oh, turn horse, please. Oh, please, 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 please. There we go. We've taken out most of its health by now. We can use this updraft here. He's creating the updraft. Oh, where is the glowing points? Hang on. I don't know where the glowing point is. Oh, it's there. That's gonna be tr problematic. I need my horse. There he is. Go, 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 go. Can I make it there in time? Probably not. Can I shoot it from here? Nope. Oh, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, go. Please. Andy, go. Blood Moon. Did I actually shoot it? I might have actually shot it. Look up there. Up where? There. Okay, so I did actually shoot it underneath it before. But anyway, what we need to do for this is... Oh. Not die. Ow. And we need to use this updraft. And we need to shoot it in the eye. While it's open. We need to be in the air so we can quick time it. been keeping watch over you all this time. I've witnessed your struggles to return to us, as well as your trials in battle. I always thought, no, I always believed that you would find a way to defeat Ganon. I never lost faith in you over these many years. Thank you, Link. The hero of Hyrule. May I ask, 
Do you really remember me?
We'll make our way to Zora's domain. Divine Beast Varuta. Looks like it's stopped working. Let's investigate the situation. Mifa's father. I believe he would like to hear more about her. The least we can do is visit him and offer him some closure. Although Ganon is gone for now, there is still so much more for us to do. 
and so many painful memories that we must bear. I believe in my heart that if all of us work together, we can restore Hyrule to its former glory. Perhaps even beyond, but it all must start with us. Let's be off. inside the sword. I suppose it would make sense if my power had dwindled over the past 100 years. I'm surprised to admit it, but I can accept that. <laughs> And that was The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. There's still more stuff we have to do in the game. We didn't get all of the shrines, and definitely nowhere near all the Koroks. But yeah. That's a good ending. I like how they start it, make it sound like they're about to go do the next thing and explore maybe new lands. Maybe. But you know, there's also Breath of the Wild uh, to whatever it's going to be called. Oh my goodness. Amazing. But anyway, other than that, um, the first time I saw the final boss like that, I, I'm surprised it was so short, because I'm just used to there being four phases, basically. Like, full forms. But, you know. I guess most of it was skipped over because of doing the Divine Beasts. And I guess that means that each of the Divine Beast bosses kind of counts as a phase of the final boss. Kind of. But anyway, that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.